Hello and welcome back to Blackout Gaming TV. After much delay and admins and stuff, me and Sigafu, we've been ready all the time, man. Eh? just talking, chilling out. Talk, talk, yeah. But we have these two teams that are soon, hopefully, to be ready. Having some merc issues, but those have been resolved. So we're just waiting for the players to get ready here. So, uh, hopefully it won't be a roll, but uh, stacked player beep, the pyro has informed me that there's a chance that they will, because they really haven't practiced this match all that much. It's splendid gaming, they have uh, really been practicing this season, I think. They've been playing really well lately, and they also beat them on steel a while back, so that's also something to consider. Yeah. Yeah, well, for an hour hour late, you know, I'm sure these guys are uh, ready to go for a 20-minute game, so I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hour, pre hour of pregame makes perfect, that's what they say. Think and by they, maybe. I mean me, that's what I say right yeah. now. Yeah. Do you have uh, just the, the sound of a demo man swinging his bottle? That's all I hear, non-stop. Yeah, that's because Source TV is like, this will be the one who we will transmit all the audio for this entirety of the cast. I'll try to reconnect to the... Just to the, did, to and the, it didn't fix it. To, oh, you just did. Well, at least people get to see all my sniper hours. Which are legit, right. by the way. <laughs> I mean, they are. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying kidding. my EP is big, but my EP is a little big. It's a little big. It's, not... it, it's right, long well... in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? God, that, that is, is so uh, weird. I think that would be Lolly, I think. No. No, it's a scout. I think. I'm trying Let's... to find who is yeah, doing it, and I can't a... find a player. It's Beep, the pyro. Yeah, it's, uh, it's him. Beep tagged up as, uh, okay. Beep tagged up as, as B33P. Okay. I was looking at the other pyro, which is, uh, Ascendiary? Ascendiary? Is that correct? Yeah. Ascendiary? Yeah. That's what Super Saiyans do. They ascend. Three. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna laugh if, like, just during the match. Alright, here we go. Yeah, finally. Alright, here we go! Gonna go and take a look at the lolly cam. If we can get him on the screen here. There we go. Yes, going on to the first mid fight here. Fairly aggressive. He is playing for Splendid Gaming. They're in the blue, stacked in the red. As we have the first mid fight going down. And, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Stack here taking the first mid fight here. Quite the uh, incident here. Bridge more together. Here comes Soldier Bomb. One rocket, two rocket. Does not connect with the medic. Hurt him a little bit. Looks to be fine. Both teams are running regular Medigon, and it looks like uh, Stack will be winning this uh, first mid. Yeah, Heavy's trying to get a little bit aggressive onto the second point. Here he comes in here now, spamming out the de uh, Heavy Man, trying to get out, but the uh, Heavy for Stack actually went down, but they're already retreating back out to Lobby, giving a lot of free ground to Yuyu right now, who's taking advantage of it, spamming into Lobby, and they should be able to take second pretty easily. Yeah, taking out that annoying little mini sentry there, and uh, counter Uber coming out. Uh, both teams here having a little bit of Uber exchange. And, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Stack is going to come out. They did not get the second point, but uh, we will have another round of Uber in a little time. So I guess this is where usually uh, it goes to a kind of a stalemate. Yep. Snipers just watch the sideline. Nobody really goes there. Maybe a soldier or a scout or a spy or something like that, but nothing too major as. Uh, well, uh, TC is going to have. Uh, well, the medic for the TC, uh, Reservoir, for explaining the game, he's already from, from the Team TC, I think it's a Merc. Reservoir Dog is going to be having a pretty quickly. Um, slight window of an opportunity, could potentially do something with this. I doubt it, though, because it's such a small window here. Oh, Ruhi taking out Mr. Rad, Sniper Randage, four stack right now. And uh, Sect actually getting pretty aggressive on the flank, they have three players over here, all their flank classes. Um, they kind of pushed in back out. Now Huey's rotating actually over to the flank side, taking out the gun. They're actually going to be able to pinch off uh, Splendid Gaming here, though they both have Uru advantage. Now Huey inside of the uh, lobby area, taking down the Engineer. Uh, gun still, that's going to go down nice and easy. And it looks like they're going to actually go up to the top to pop the Uber down. This could actually work really well for uh, Stacked here. Taking the higher ground advantage, a very nice play. Their Spy actually ran in the front and actually made a mistake there, but they, I think they messed back up because there's a back cap going on. Yep. Yeah, really good job by Splendid Gaming to see what was happening with the backpack. 
back, back cap on, and Uber's popped out here on second point. Meta goes down for Splendid Gaming, and now only two up, so despite the back cap, that did, did delay them that they can't push into uh, last right away. They're going to get respawns in time to hold that off, but uh, did not work out yeah, for them for holding off a second. Sorks right now if, uh, if he doesn't get spotted. I think they know he's there. Oh, they didn't get the cap. I actually uh, marked it earlier today for uh, stack here, and the problem was they're not standing on the point. But look at Sorex! Oh! Uh, gets the nobody first checked point. the point. Yeah. Sorex delivers. Wow. Sneaky little back cap. He didn't even like hide. He just, like, literally stood on it. Like anybody give like one eye to the point would have saw him. What do you What do you call it when there's like everybody thinks someone else is gonna do? Every, someone else is gonna check there. Like the the bystander effect. Yeah, it was kind of like the bystander. Effect. Everyone's like, yeah, well, someone. <laughs> Not all nine of us is not going to forget to check the last point for a scout, right? Yeah, so yeah, Huey here. I don't a pyro through fire. Seeing a little bit more of an even fight this mid site. Both teams getting out here. We got we see the blue demo man gets his fam down across the point. Uh, each kind of equally losing players though. Looks like Splendid is getting the worst of this. They're kind of backed up in this corner uh, on the point. Soldier bombing down on the oh. medic gets one shot and down. He goes from a snipe shot, actually. Huge medic advantage here, so let's see what uh, Splendid... There's not, not a whole lot Splendid can do about this right now, because they have a heavy, and all they have is, like, Wally here. And he's going to go down pretty soon. Yep, down he goes, and he was potentially the only one who could bomb, but look at this Pyro. Oh. I think it's huge here, but we have... Uh, Sweet here. The soldier so apparently... They are one player down, TC's right okay. there. They're currently lacking the their spy. It's currently not in the game, and that's going to hurt them not having that spy. Yeah, and you know, good job by uh, uh, Stacked here, already pushing out the second point. Didn't even have to use their Uber, went through the big door, and now they're going to have full Uber advantage uh, coming on to last year. Maryland camp. So they're going to be. Moving. Oh, Huey getting taken out by Zimmer, the engineer. Before Zimmer getting taken out. So, yeah, it's. NG for demo, that's kind of like the classes that you deal with each other on defense in general. They're kind of out of the picture right now. Yeah, they are going to go in this few workers once. They do seem to have the positional and the number advantage. You guys can stack the point. That's a good one for uh, stacked. Yeah, you know, Golly Wash is one of those last when you push in. Like, I think a lot of teams kind of do it incorrectly where they don't just get bodies on the point. They literally were like, alright, we're going to go kill people. Wait, no, we're just going to go stand on the point and win. Still a, a spy down. Yeah, so this is pretty bad for them. Maybe some technical problems, but let's see how, how this fares for uh, Splendid here. Apparently, uh, one player down. They got to have opportunities here. And, uh... Splendid getting the advantage though early on, getting two picks now, three picks down. Uh, Heavy Soldier and Scout are down for Stat Gaming, taking a lot of ground aggressively across the point. It's Soldier getting onto the medic a little bit, getting reflected, his rock is reflected, but this is going to be for Splendid Gaming. First uh, mid, fought, mid fight yeah. that they took, and only five up for Stacks. Yeah, despite not having a spy, they did pretty well, so. Turns out Spy's not that useful for mid fights. Turns <laughs> out Spies are useless after all, I guess uh, what the Sniper says is really true. But Marilyn here about to have full Uber, so does uh, TC, and they are moving into the second point here. Let's see how they decide to engage this. Stacked is on the balcony area there, and uh, some blue presence going on there. Soldier going down to uh, stack, but a SWE down for them right now. Uber popped, and no uh, counter Uber pop just yet. Oh, Marilyn goes down, and yeah, the counter Uber pop, and they just they are going to go get out of there. Oh, well, that was... Weird pyro action there from coming out of a secondary. Kind of not aware of the situation. It's unusual for him because he's usually spot on. What I've seen most of the time. Now the good the good thing about this is Reservoir Dog did stay up in that exchange, so he's actually going to have about a, like uh, about 20% advantage, yeah. 10, 15, 20%. It's not huge, not big enough to really push off of, but. Just possibly, the flank is being overwhelmed by Stack Gaming here, coming inside. Scout's oh. actually on the midpoint. Engineer, their spamming soldier comes in. Yeah, taking out the medic, so... Yeah, the advantage they once had is now gone as Stack is pushing out. And this is some gentleman action. It's the uh, red spy also the just standing still and not moving tested. while the other team doesn't have a spy. It looks to be... No, he's still moving. All right, so... But actually, it's funny, Gaming Scout came in there and uh, just took out uh, my, or the uh, Stack Gaming's uh, medic right there. So, uh, really good job of him coming in. Of course. Uh, TC, I have no idea. Winko, Splug, Splug, <laughs> yes, that's it. Winko. Blue Scout. Blue Scout. Oh. Spy here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he's been spotted though, he's there and he's gonna be forced to. Yeah, he's decloaking and he gets spotted and... Do as much damage as he can before he gets taken out. Not the biggest of deals. So it looks like they're starting to get a little bit aggressive here. Splendid game. There's no real, uh, I mean, just starting to get some people at choke on stat gaming, but already starting to be peaked right now by Lolly. Uh, but he's going to get spammed out by Huey as soon as he does. Just a little bit slow on that aggression. Nice uh, distraction player from Rupi allowing the Sorex to go and kill the other sniper here. He's going to be working away at this annoying little mini sentry. He's going to be working their way up and slowly inching away and peeking and poking. And he doesn't have to worry about his body because the other team does a snap on still. Takes out the soldier with a nice body shot, and uh, he's kind of securing the door right now. Yeah, tries to go for the medic. I just sense he's going to get a big pick here if he just takes his time and let that gun uh, charge up, doing more damage. Which is what he's going to... Nope. <laughs> seems a bit indecisive. Yeah, it just so. seems that Sex Gaming uh, is flank is just really overwhelming and dominating uh, Splendid. Um, the, the second time there, just a little bit before when you're making those calls, they actually had three people uh, basically behind Splendid Gaming. We're fortunately taken out, but they seem to kind of be losing this flank fight uh, right now, so we'll kind of see how that progresses throughout the game. Yeah, watching the Sorg's cam, still working on the flank here. Stacked is, uh, well, we have a scout here actually uh, attacking the mid -century. That's a pretty bold move. Scout. Simmer here, out of the minions, gonna be wrangling it. So basically, the flanks are battling each other and the chokes are battling each other. So, a bit of a stalemate here. Both teams having full Uber, and neither wants to hop it just yet. And currently, there's uh, two points for stacked, so they currently need to make it really happen. Well, the ball in the court. So, Sniper down for a stack, so if. Uh the blue sniper wants to get out there and get a little bit of a pick off, try to get a little bit more aggressive, Mr. Rev. Uh, which he's actually going to do so. He's going to kind of, I hear by the scout sniper, but he's going to back up now. Golly Wash begins. Yeah, and this is how you don't play Golly Wash. You don't wait, you just attack whenever you have Uber and you rebounce and you come back in stronger than ever. So both things being overly passive here. But it's really the blue team's job to push because they're behind. Oh, really, with a nice headshot. Took up a lot of health off uh, Marty. Uh, you, are, are yeah, I mean, I think it's like, the, well, one thing here is like, you know, I guess we go off, well, I just as some speaking, Stack actually just loses two of their playing classes. As Mr. Rev actually is going to rotate around here potentially, uh, he's peeking at nothing. Uh, but, you know, this is, oh, Woover's Exchange actually at the choke point. Finally, you can come out. I'm trying to tell who has the better one. Red definitely has the better one as they're getting air blast back. Actually, in the second point away from the combo, which is pretty hilarious. And now they're going to get caught in here. Really bad Uber out of Splendid Gaming here. Demoman Lolly just trying to get out of the point, um, but they basically lost everybody there. Yeah, huge casualties for uh, both teams there, but uh, more for blue than for red. So it looks like Stack is going to be able to get this uh, middle point here. Apparently, it's some cats. Yeah. Time has been added. You know, I think that was just a, a thing of Splendid just getting late, you know, maybe just stacked is like, alright, well, we're just going to play the uh, park the bus game, and you can push out into us. I guess it worked out for them. Mr. Rev, taking down a couple of players here. He's going to be battling the Spy, who is still around, and that's going to be annoying. It's taken up by Ruby with a neatly placed counter, uh, counter sniper scope. Yep. Uber's gonna come in shortly here. Yep. There's the Uber. Like everybody's dead for Splendid. They don't even need they just need to just get on the point. It's not even gonna be contested. Yeah, not looking good for Splendid right now. Let's take a look at the stats of the last round if uh, stats are working. Yep, they are in Huey here with the 4,500 damage topping the scoreboard of the damage. But top kills is actually Sorex. He's been playing cleanup crew and Jacking all the kills, pretty much. Also doing a lot of work on the flank there. And down he goes to Molly right off the bat. Molly goes down to the Flare There go. Oh, big headshot there from Mr. Rev, killing Huey, and that's a, that's a big bit there. If he can stay alive long enough, he's tossing, he's gonna go chase him down, or the, this pyro. Yeah, they're looking to be in good shape here. Yeah, finally looking to gain some ground here. They do have the sniper advantage. Oh, but there's a spy! Oh, that was very close. So the bombing, not gonna happen. Marty with the anti-aircraft gun, shutting him down. Scout levitating. 
Splendid needs to get a little bit more aggressive here. Heavy's gonna catch in. Oh, please! Oh my goodness! Whoa. How many kills was that? Three. Three kills. Versus, wow. Okay. That's perfect. I saw him coming around the corner. And I kind of just like was curious of like what his plan was, and yeah, just surprise revved up heavy, uh, did crazy work. Well, it looks like Deox is now a new Merc spy for Splendid right now, so maybe they can do the edge needs. Well, yeah, Deox here is a very, very talented spy, so maybe he can change the title battle. But we will see. Uh, Stack is playing very dominantly this round, so we will see. Actually, Marty's gonna go down there in that exchange heavy down. Uh, what, and Wally almost wow. getting down. Yes, yeah, Z is very, was very low on health there, but did some nice fat man dodging from those pipes, and he's actually in good shape right now. So both teams are gonna have full Uber once again, and they're actually at a, a positive chokes right now. So let's see how this engagement goes. Huey in the front. Oh, oh, did get disconnected from his medic, and it's actually Ubering a spy. Yeah, this is bad. And the medic was kind of waiting around there. I, I was kind of confused what he was doing, but I guess it works out since he doesn't yeah. go down. He's actually going to take this point. Yeah, it was just intimidating. Oh, here comes the scout, though. Can he, can he get the job done? No, nope, medic goes down, but here's a spy, Deox. Is he here, able to finish the job? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, oh. gets the medic. Gets the job done. Very well played there. Uh, sometimes we see a spy often do that, kind of just finish off the job with the, the pick suicide classes we're able to do in the beginning, like the scout and the soldier. So that is definitely going to work in their favor. As now, TZ Reservoir Dog almost has a full Uber while uh, Merlin is still dead. So he's going to have a full Uber, and Merlin is just respawning, so uh, they must take advantage of this. They're not. I mean, that's the thing that I see at Splendid Gaming, is they're just not yeah. being aggressive. They're. they're they're just playing so passively. Like, there's just, yeah. they're not taking, like, this Gully Wash is a map about small advantages and pushing them off of them. Like, that, that CP Highlander, or any really CP yeah. map for any game mode, but they're just like, oh, okay, we have an advantage. Alright, let's, let's chill. Merlin is at 35%, like, he's... Alright, looks like they're gonna go with the heavy. Let's take a look at the uh, Ruhi. You see where he needs to be? Yep, he is watching. Joke, he's always having a laugh. Oh, he actually upscopes right at the wrong time. Throws Dorati in the back of the engineer. That's unfortunate. So we do have a bit of an engagement here. So the bombs being exchanged. And uh, yeah, only DX going down. Well, he just responding right now. So, And they are losing their Uber advantage. Yeah, they but, I mean, were at least 50% up. I mean, I was I was going to say jokingly, I was like, yeah, could you imagine if uh, they let Merlin get a full Uber after DX did all that work? And yeah, guess what? Merlin has a full Uber again. That all that work was pretty much for nothing. They went, they stalled it, but they're already behind three points. Stack can just yeah. bunker down and not move, and they will win. So yeah. And this is when did gaming one uh, on steel against them? Correct. Uh yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, looks like we're another waiting game, and as you know, if, if last time is any uh, test, it's going to be that stacked is just going to decide to opt to, even though they have the advantage, like if they, it's better for them to push in, trade Ubers, and get out, and then repush. Uh, they're going to opt to just, you know, hold tight. Their mech's yeah, not being challenged. Oh, oh. No, he didn't get spotted. I was, was going to. He is still alive with five health, and I think I think they think he's dead. Um, so then, oh, runs into the demo man. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think he might have gotten the demo. Uh, I am mean, the medic there if the demo wasn't there, but yeah, close, no cigar. But yeah, still no teams are doing anything, and 13 minutes left on the clock. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, if Stack Gaming, because they're the ones who needed ringers, Splendid Gaming was the one denied. If they're also just kind of trolling a little bit yeah, out of like, we're not going to even try to push into you because, yeah. Yeah, they don't have to. They absolutely don't have to. They're three points ahead. Yeah. So, yeah, the Splendid Gaming is just waiting. So the longer they wait, the more it's going to be in the favor of uh, Stack right now. Neither team has really done anything. I mean, you just have to go and, yeah, there they go, losing a uh, demo man. This is bad. Here comes the Uber Exchange. Two players down for Splendid and everybody alive for Stack right now, so Stack just needs to get proper positioning and counter push, and that's what they're going to do here. Oh no, but they lose their heavy in the process. The other team is their pyro, but casualties seems to be favoring Stack right now as they have lost the least. 
No demo up actually right now for Splendid, which oh. is gonna that's gonna give Huey a lot of room to push in here. But oh, surprise heavy coming in here, getting the damage down on Huey, but he's gonna be able to get out in time. Scout actually coming behind, taking out Reservoir Sorry. Dog right there. Yeah, very well played there by Sorex coming in at the right time. Spycraft, I'm big not door. Sure what he's doing, but I uh, would be helpful. Well, I guess you know the trolling part. Right, I guess that's true. <laughs> Yeah, they're just toying with him right now. Uh, I guess they must be fuming right now, losing. When they're not taking it this seriously. It's got to hurt to Ruhi on the Machina. This is starting to get painful to watch here. Reservoir Dog now on the Crits Creek. Let's see how uh, this goes. Now it's like they're just giving up a uh, second point for free, basically. Or we just weren't able to push out. Huey was uh, sticking up the shutter there. Uh, basically not allowing anybody to push on him. And it looks like the Heavy just started running back, knowing that they had to hold last. Yep. And uh, we got a Spy Crab in lobby. Spy Crab update. So, yeah. Okay, so they're four down right now. This is when Splendid Game needs to get aggressive. Right now, they're getting their combo up top onto second. They need to get people onto the point. That's the biggest part. Um, the respawns are going to come in in time for uh, Stack to be able to contest this slightly, but they need to be get people out there. Lolly's already up around the corner. He was contesting. Marty's coming in on him, trying to contest him, but he's going to get stickied off. And now we're kind of getting reset here again. Reservoir Duck does have 100% uber advantage, and they need to push. They need yeah. to push now. With the crit screen, the longer you wait, the more you increase the chance of something going wrong here. Lolly going in, they need the crit screen now. Oh, faded a bit. He had his low on stickies. And he might get a lot of kills. He could get a lot of kills here. And he unfortunately did the spy crap. Surprisingly worked nice as a body block there. But fortunately it did work out in their favor. Splendid gaming uh, only three up for stacked right now. Scout, yeah. demo, and spy. So they should be able to take this midpoint, though Sorx does take down the soldier right there. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. No, I'm sorry, was, uh, you're good. Oh yeah, well, I was just going to say that because they kept their medic alive and he has the crit screen, he's going to have a crit screen before the enemy team even has an uber, and they can change this advantage if they just attack and pressure stacked. Yeah, I think them switching to crit screen is good because they were just playing so passively with yeah. that uber. In crit screen, you, like, you just can't play passively. It forces you to have to play aggressively with it, and I think that's exactly I what they needed. I say, like, the crit screen, the opportunity decays the longer you hold it here and here comes the crit screen you have lolly here coming in uh oh actually they're actually where are they going oh no, they're they're faking it oh it's pyro oh beep oh. beep beep i'm a jeep taking out the medic oh sorry i just i'm not sure what that was sleep pricey but yeah very well play there and look at the amount of players dead for the blue team right now they are hurting bad and stacked here just well that one pyro play yeah, I don't know what all. happened. Was the blue pyro down? It must have been down for that push. It's like well, nobody was there to protect basically, them. Basically, Lolly didn't check both sides before he went out that door. And yeah. That's kind of like the basic. You kind of have to, uh, especially playing against a team like Staff, because they will do little things like that and really thwart the push. And now, huge, huge uber advantage for Merlin. They can play this however they want it. Reservoir Dog still in Crit Creek, building fierce. Oh, Mr. Rev takes Ooh. out Merlin right there. Well, all advantage gone. The hero of the day is Mr. Rev. Have enough camera here, and uh, Our control point is being captured. can potentially make something. However, they haven't captured the round. They just need to turn up the heat and put on the pressure. Our control point is being captured. Chris is they're almost, actually getting oh, some pressure out on a second here. Yeah, looks like no more Mr. Spider. Oh, look at Smeezy. The heat is such... Oh, taunting on the point. He's going to get smacked because he's a bad boy doing that stuff. But that's okay. And only three up again for stacked gaming. I mean, they're yeah. not taking this seriously, and uh, this mean, might come back to bite them potentially. I mean, they might lose a round or two if they uh, keep this up. Uh, Ruhi, an eye for an eye or a demo for a medic. Takes them out. The control point is being captured. But Splendid Gaming still has the better of it. The respawns are coming in for stacked gaming, but I kind of like this uh, soldier position out of Tonson if they do try to push in. Doing some sniping work, breaking some heads, and doing the damage. Being pressured by a scout here, but you know, Rangle Minus Entries, pretty good against scouts. Crits Heavy coming in here, taking out the soldier who was bombing the med. Horse Pop, yeah. Miss Rev taking out the other Heavy, and uh, they're gonna be able to take this point, though. They get some respawns, and they'll be able to take this. And I think if they just stack the points. Oh, Rue here with the Machina taking out Lolly. 
Yeah, those lines. Uh, yeah, they just need to go as a death ball altogether and not split up uh, like they're kind of doing now. They're kind of spraying themselves thin here. Soldier taking the high ground, and oh, that's a bunch of sticky. Did get detonated. He's fine for now. And uh, yeah, still on the crit screen with an um, ever increasing advantage because crit screen does build faster. And uh, they might be looking to take this point here, and uh, suddenly starting to look a lot brighter for Splendid Gaming. But we're also seeing them being aggressive, and I don't think they were losing the game because they're worse. I thought they were, they were losing the game because they're playing passive, and they're losing that. They stop doing that right now. They're gaining their advantage as you yeah. speak. Um, they're going to be able to actually use this crit screen advantage uh, very close, and actually got a little trap here up here uh, by the demo man. Huey does uh, right along the stairs. So I'm kind of curious if they'll be able to catch the medic. Nope. Oh, didn't, uh, didn't catch it, unfortunately. But he did get off some nice uh, splash damage there. Already doing some cleaning here. All right, can the perfect sticky come in and uh, get the med before he can pop? That's yeah, the question. Yeah, he's kind of out of position too. So if they just oh, Mr. Rev here with the headshot on there. Here comes the crits. Countered with Uber. They're not really close to each other. It's more of a protective Uber not to die into the crits there. And uh, yeah, Reservoir Dog is still alive. So if he just stays alive and they're playing on the Uber, they could potentially go in with the second crits wave here. If he just stays alive, but knowing Sorex and. Uh, Spy here, that is not going to happen. Yeah, and Splendid Gaming losing yeah, too many sorry, players. He's looking there. for the medic right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he sees him. That's a shot. Yeah, and he gets a denied by the Pyro. Very nice play there by uh, Sindri. And also getting the sniper for good measure. So now, uh, they have numbers advantage. They could afford to be more aggressive than this because Ruhi is down, so they can actually peek and look all they want. This only. I'm not sure if there's a sticky trap up yet. I haven't been watching Huey. With sticky shenanigans. They're at 90 per 95 percent. They need to get in line here. They need to be yeah. able to use this right away. Here they come. Yeah, here's Lolly. Oh, one sticky out. Gets the NG. And dies. Yeah, Uber stacked is for just, uh, stacked. Yeah. yeah, stacked is just bunkering down here with this level three, and even with the engineer down, this is gonna be pretty tough to deal with. Uh, given the fact that the heavy are down. By. There it goes. Yeah, yeah, it saps. But Splendid lost but like everything in that push. But he just repaired it. Oh man, Daff, engineer boss, fists in the air. Yep, that's just deserved of a fist bump there. Sundary tries to be, be uh, sneaky as a peep, but just get, does get spotted. And Stacked actually pushing out a last. That is something that is not very easy to do in uh, Golly Wash. Yeah, and they do it with these. Yeah, it, it, it just walk back out. And they're getting already aggressive here on midpoint. Heavy's actually getting caught in here by the demo man right now. And they're going to be able to push straight through mid. Um, and I'm kind of curious to see how far they're actually going to take this through. Uh, well, they're starting to get that dangerous momentum here where they're just taking point after point. So we might see a full capture here if they keep up the pressure. Merlin is going to have a full Uber at any moment now. And uh, Huey is with him. And in the front where he needs to be. And yeah, you can see a splendid game just kind of backing off and giving it up for free. They're not really testing it all that much. Yeah. Yeah, they don't even have a Devil Man up top. I mean, that's the big thing. He's some sort of explosive class up top. It's just a Pyro who, I, last time I checked, flames don't reach that far. Uh, so they're going to actually be able to take second uh, for free again. Yeah, and I'm watching the Ruby Cam. Actually, SMG Machina. That's a, that's a strange combination, but I guess. You got level 3, by the way. I'm not second being brought up by Death. He's bringing a level 3 to uh, the last point there. Chris Krieg for. <laughs> He gets caught in the lobby, level 3 down. Oh. But we got yep. UA on last, doesn't matter. Another point for Stacked, taking it up to 4. I just enjoyed the pure terror on that engineer's face as he opened up the door to a Chris Creek Heavy. And just tried to turn around, but it was far, far too late. Obviously doesn't matter as uh, Huey and Sorex and the Medic uh, Merlin uh, get the cap from behind. I was really hoping he was going for like some uber behind Uber in front of level 3 building on last point push. I guess we rarely I, ever see that. I did that actually in my uh, Season 6 UGC uh, oh, you did Steel now. Championship. Did I did, yeah. It was like got a 3k. Yeah, that's, yeah. That was great. That's actually Bring a really good strategy point. though, like, especially if, if it, it does works. get spotted. Yeah. Because uh, you're basically like just waiting for it to finish and you're like, come on, come on, build, 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 and as soon as it's up it's like, oh yes. And then like a spy stabs you and saps it. That's like that's that's how it goes with me most of the time. Yeah. Yep. So uh, match point for uh, stack right now. So, what are the UGC rules? 
Uh, it is now so the first two. Oh, so basically, um, if Stat gets one cap, they win the game. Um, Splendid has to cap four. If they cap four, then it'll be sent into like a golden cap situation. Yeah. Um, but that's unlikely. Though actually, it was interesting in the season nine. I was in Gully Wash playing against uh, Guinea Force, who won that year in UGC uh, North American Platinum. And we were up 3-0 on them, and then they capped four straight in the second round. Like, they got yeah. like, all this momentum out of nowhere. And so the, and then it ended, because the configs end at four wins. And so we're, like, talking to the admins, and we're like, you know, is that what what happened? Because that's never happened before. Oh, yeah, team... like, one team gets four straight, and then it completely flips on the coin, and it just goes four the other way. Yeah. But I mean, if they got zero in the first half and then four in the second half, because in the first half you hit four, that ends the round. Yeah. But in the second half, you, like to my understanding, you just played a five, but yeah. they didn't even have a single point. So we ended up playing like an extra like six minutes and stuff like. Because they actually, I thought the UGC admins had a terrible decision, which was like, uh, no, they just win, even though there's six minutes left in the clock, they just win, and, and everybody in the game was like, that's dumb. We're gonna go yeah. play another six minutes. They won, but you know, it wasn't about that, anyways. Yeah. No, definitely like something that happens in TF2 sometimes that conflict messes up because uh, different leagues have different takes on how they they wish to play and I guess you'd have to make a separate config for that. It's like yeah, the four <laughs> the four config where yeah, like you'd have it like well, it's yeah. like you'd have like first half and then second half you just put it to five or you could just play one it. half. Whoever gets the most points wins their first to five. Yeah, in one half. So we could potentially go for an hour. Of uh, game here because the second half is also 30 minutes, right? What was it? Yeah, it's also for 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah so 30 minutes are uh, one win. Well, I, I have a gully wash story as well since we're doing that. Uh, All right, back in Holly. the day, tell me about when I was kids. playing with my friends at Pub Stompers. We had the gracious strategy of losing every single mid. And then get pushed mm -hmm. back to last, and then push all the way from last to their last and cap and win the round. Very nice. Like. I, I don't know, like, we... That that was not the plan. It just kind of happens. Like, the other team was not... I don't remember who we played against, but they just seemed to lack the finesse to stabilize and finish off the last point. And we barely, mm -hmm. by the skin that refused, held it. And then we got, like, the death ball going with the momentum, and we just didn't stop. So we basically kept, like, the mid and second and the last one back to back to back. That's but that awesome. was, like, every round. Lose mid horribly, lose second, and then... Some fight on last and then turn around. So yeah, Gullowash is definitely an interesting map. It's actually my favorite map in the game. And I main sniper because it's kind of a pain to snipe on it. It's like the sight lines aren't that good and it makes it more challenging and I just like it a lot more. Than uh, than other maps. So yeah, it's know. a good it's a good back and forth. I mean I think the only the only thing I don't like about CP maps, and I think Gullowash is more prone to this than um other maps is that well from the push from us mid to second you know it's kind of a difficult one if you don't yeah. understand how to push that yeah. and i think like it, it it's just like one of those things that it's like it's not hard but you have to understand how to push in highlander and you have to understand how to push off of like very small advantages yeah and that's and the thing that really sucks you watch a low level team or something like that who just doesn't quite have that yeah, like I saw Marilyn die mm -hmm. to a very Noble suicide from Deox, and then respawn and build a full over, and then wait for a while before nothing, something happens. Yeah. Because what you could, what a lot of players are not aware of, is that you could actually, f you have an Uber, and they have an Uber. You're an equal ground. So if you go in with the Uber and you pop first, and you make sure that you position yourself, and you get out of there and you survive their Uber, you will have an advantage the next time around. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. Well, well like, my, what my team did last year is we would go in, push, trade Ubers, get back out, and then just re-push 9v9. Yeah. And just it just tried not even, don't even, like, wait for that second Uber to come yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. Just, like, that's the same thing. They don't have an Uber, we don't have an Uber. Nobody has an advantage. Let's right. just go whenever. Yeah. It actually usually works out really effectively because, especially, like, on this gully wash, if you push from the, like, you can uh, pinch them really easily if you take yeah. over a big door. And then when you're pushing through, you actually are taking high ground... Um, as you push through the choke point on second, um, from mid onto second, and so, or usually, depending, but, you know, you can take a lot of ground, a lot of coverage that you can take, and if you push together, like, it's pretty actually hard to defend if you do it properly, but it just, again, it kind of is that team coordination, stuff like that, that yeah. um, not all Highlander teams have, um... It's usually common for, even, like, mm -hmm. uh, 
lower levels of play. It's just like passive. It's like a very general term of, of people not taking advantage. So we are going on maybe the last round. It is match point for uh, stacked stack right now. But look who is here. New player has arrived, and that is Korv. I don't think he was here previously, but Korv is a very aggressive devil man. He is probably one of the most standalone demos that I know played with him. He is Swedish. Korv means sausage, so... He would potentially do a lot of work. He's very independent in the way he Ooh, operates. and actually Med goes down there uh, from a nice bomb uh, from Splendid Gaming. Actually, both Meds go down. Wow. There are actually only three alive, or two two versus three right now. Yeah, and it's... And Korv is alive on the point. Oh, yeah, well, Swee took out Tauzin and is just the red spy who took out Swee, and it's him versus another spy in a demo man. Yeah, this was kind of the fights where everybody loses except one who's just kind of alive, and uh, yeah. Uh, nice there, nice play by Splendid, uh, taking that first mid fight. I guess uh, getting the solo operative uh, Korg here might actually do this. And uh, let's see if they're gonna do what we mentioned and push without an Uber, because they know the other team doesn't have an Uber. They don't have either, so it's equal. Let's see if they're gonna do something with this. And yeah, I think Korg is playing. I don't know. I already forgot who played. Demo before. Cause... But see, like, look, look at this flank play by out of uh, Staff Gaming. The engineer was able to put down a gun so aggressively and span them out. Like, this Splendid Gaming flank is just not there. And look, they're giving so much free ground. The engineer finally does go down with some help from the core combo here, but it's Scout versus Soldier uh, and the... 2v1, and that's not going to go in the favor of Splendid. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Ubers are about to be even. Respawns just coming in. Ruhi is down, though for another 15 seconds, so that's an advantage they can play up. Let's see if they decide to do so. There's no sniping for the other team. Uh, it looks like they're gonna ro fake rotate around, I guess. Yeah. There's three down. Four down for uh, Stack Run. They just have to go and uh, get this Uber exchange and then come back. That's essentially what they have to do here. But, oh, actually, Huey goes oh. down in that exchange. Medic yeah. dropped him, now Medic's caught in. Medic goes down to Marty. Yeah. I just want to say, very well played there by a sentry separating the medic like that. Yeah, they're kind of picking them apart. Like sometimes the defense is like a clenched fish, and you start by removing the pinky with the flank. Find the medic. Just barely gets caught out right there. Yeah. So yeah, fifty percent advantage for uh, reservoir. Yeah, it's starting but to look good. But they're down. They can just push in. They, yeah. they don't even wait for this. Looking very good for uh, TC right now. I'm not sure they are aware of how much an advantage they actually have. Here. Huey being on the point here and taking a lot of damage. He's really weak. And down below is a scout. We'll be able to do something with him because we got the scout stop and beat here as well. But look, Huey is really hurting. Down he goes, and uh, yeah, first round splendid takes there. That's exactly what Splendid needed. It's that aggression yeah. right out the gate. It was non-stop put to the pedal. And then just good plan that Uber exchange, as you yeah. said. And now the stats are a lot more blue than they were in the first half. And maybe they're turning it around. Maybe we'll see what you mentioned, like a 4-0 and then a config buggering up. I have to call an admin <laughs> again and then people have to go to bed and stuff because it's getting late. Here we go. Merlin already taking some damage here. And, uh, so oh, Medico is down from a snipe. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, that's Mr. Rev. So it's Mr. Rev taking out, yeah, Merlin. Yeah. People are just dying all over the place here because both teams are being incredibly aggressive. Ooh, but Smeez actually comes in there. Uh, Smeezy comes in there and takes out Reservoir Dog on the uh, flank heavy play, and it looks like Stack's going to take this. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's on the center. Yeah, total wipe for uh, uh, Splendid Gaming there, so that's going to hurt their pride just a little bit, but there's nothing they can't recover from. Uh, well, yeah. they can't. They have to recover from this because they only have one round to lose. Yeah, exactly. So they actually can't afford to go well. Taws in here suicides and gets Korv. Uh, that's no demo man there. for this last hold. They're yep. holding in lobby right now, but being tested by that heavy. Those sticky bombs here. Let's see what Stack decides to do here. Oh, gonna be pressuring Mr. Rev here. He's gonna force the retreat. They're at least holding the lobby pretty well, which is uh, useful. The engineer and sniper trying to get around, but they're going to get caught out by the uh, soldier. But here they come, pushing in from lower lobby, trying to take it over. Uh, getting spammed out, now giving that up, but at least taking a little bit more time, letting him get that uh, last defense set up. Didn't lose any players, or very only a couple. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a slight uber advantage here for stacked, but I guess they're just going to wait for... Well, I guess they're not going to wait at all. They're just going to go with the super advantage they have. Reservoir Dog is just about to have his Uber. He's kind of out of position. Kind of. 
Oh, look at the amount of red on the other side here. Oh, here comes the Uber engagement. Pyro below. Oh, Pyro versus Pyro. And a scout. Oh, this could be it. Oh. Soldier bombing in. Spy on the point. Spy trying to get some damage down on the demo. Soldier bombing in. Medic gets on top. Whoa. He gets, gets taken out by... Uh, that's a double kill by one pipe. And actually, Corp takes down three people somehow in that exchange. I have no idea how. Huge. But, Sorry. Yeah. I just have to say, that was a huge uber saw opportunity for Reservoir Dog, and he just didn't take it. He just looked at the soldier. He could have used the uber saw and at least got 50% uber off of that. But uh, let's right. see. Yeah. Bit, bit yes, one and get needs to get out here. They need to get out. They 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 were four down right now, but he was actually going to spam on Corp as he gets out here. Corp not being supported by a team whatsoever, and he's going to get caught in and die. Yeah. It, they at least got some back tech time. They might be able to get like maybe a spy to get a back cap. You know, detox yeah. when he gets up. Put some time on they it. A, but... They had a scout behind, but the Sorex, you know, keeping the flank pretty tight for a stack right now is going to be hard to deal with. Here comes the spy. Uh, too much. And, uh, yeah, they're just kind of forced to hold the, off another Uber push here. Uber exchange coming in here. Uber pop last. Well, that was the red team. Just let's see. How, yeah, it's just. Oh, look at this is cute. What? He's just hiding behind the pillar, but he does get taken out. And uh oh, this. This is bad for uh, Splendid Gaming. Your stack you're rolling. Oh, but they take out Huey. That's a big pick. Soldier jumping in. Whoa, Medic goes for his super surf there. Bring out the surf bar, Medic, because that was amazing. But he goes down, actually, uh, trying to get out there. I think by the sniper. And Mr. Rev takes out right there the other sniper. Yeah. So only three up. And the Medic, the Spice, actually, on that last point, doesn't matter. They're getting too distracted again. They need to get out here Yeah, I would right just away. ignore the minis entry and just go on the point is what I would do. Because you can actually stand on the point and not get hit. But uh, there's a Huey on the side here, so yeah, it looks like they're going to go on. Let's go on the Huey camp. Oh, he's actually going to go for a bomb here, and actually turtles right into uh, to a soldier and a bunch of other stuff. It's fun if they play this right. They should be able to just push straight through mid. Yeah, they, they could get a de pretty nice death ball going if they, they do that. They have a... Oh, Rue here with the sniper advantage. Taking out uh, Mr. Rev. And see, this will look, look at the midpoint. There's like nobody on here, and Splendid Gaming is holding back at choke. Like, obviously, they only have like three players here, but there's no sniper. You know, you can peek it. There's no demo yeah. man. Like, there's no reason you shouldn't peek this to see what you're working yeah, against. Yeah, they're just so, being. Look at. Like, they're, they're reading the situation all wrong, and they're not peeking. Like, the spy who is in, can go invisible is not looking. And now Stacked is like, well, it's the point clear. I guess we can just take it. So. Passive mistake there. They still have an Uber advantage, but are we going to see what we saw before? Are they going to allow Merlin to get a full Uber before they even do something? I think that's the case. Uh, it looks that looks like that way. Yeah, I mean, Sniper is peeking that so close, but yeah. just push, just go. You have it. Come on, guys. Like if you run four people around the corner and then when Sniper kills one of you, there's still three left of you. You know, like and you still have like you still have like a 40% Uber advantage. Well, had uh, that you build it, <laughs> now it's going to have to be an exchange. And Splendid Gaming yeah. once again giving up huge. Huge Uber advantage uh, for no real reason at all. I yeah. mean, they were they had to wait for the demo, but the demo came up and they still had a 30% advantage. I, I don't know what they're doing. Well, Stack doesn't even have to attack. You know? Yeah, they can just wait for 20 minutes. They can just do that. And if see, Splendid doesn't attack, then that's their fault. They just need to go. Is what they need to do. They just look. They're just wasting so much time. Stacked in the lead. And I think also Mr. Rev should, uh, when you're this far behind and struggling, maybe Jurati would be better than the race back because you need all the help you can get. Every little extra damage you can turn out is important, and I don't think the Spy 20 sill is uh, that much of a threat to you. So that's going to be well, sweet. Yeah, and, and again, you know, I've talked about Splendid Gaming's flank. Uh, it's just not really playing together. The Soldier doesn't really seem to be playing over there. Mr. Rev goes down, Detox goes down, or Deox goes down. Um, and look at how much pressure is coming out of this flank side as the Uber's actually being exchanged, and they have no flank. They're being completely pinched right now. Medic's going to actually be taken out by the Engineer. If he gets his aim, it's true. No, not the Wrangler. Use your shotgun. Now punch him. He punches the pull. Then the Medic. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, like Heavy says, guns are for babies. I'm just going to punch you like a man. The Engineer, Daff here, he's the man. Well, actually getting punched by a, a Fist of Metal is actually going to hurt pretty bad. Not going to lie, but uh, 13 health. Total boss. And they actually kept the point as well. This is a pretty stellar play here. Got a stacked. 
Marty's actually camping their spawn. Uh, he's actually right on top of the heavy, but he's going to go down, sadly. Uh, and a couple down... Um, I mean, I'm kind of curious to see how Stax is going to push this. Sticky trap on the right-hand side. Might come into play later if Stax is a bit over-eager. Gonna watch the Ruhi camp. Oh, wait, there's... There, there's Ruhi. He's in my spot where I usually go when he gets pressured by a scout. It's taken out, so that's... Nice work. So, uh... Marilyn here is about to have full Uber. Let's see... Well, they're, they're pretty even right now, actually. Oh, Marty! Been out of position there, disconnected from his medic, and goes down, and DX is dead as well, so... Could this be what stack... Oh, looking at the spy for stack. Should probably grab the health pack, dude. I mean, there's a health pack right here. Nope, I guess he doesn't want the health. Alright, charge for both teams. Oh, he triggers like the sticky trap. Yep. Yep, there it comes in. Uber Was Uber popped? And are yep. they pushing in water? Yep, they are. Well, Heavy's in water by himself underneath the point. Uh, Scout's coming down onto the point. Medics, Uber oh, is yeah, over. Oh, by, uh, by Deox there. Uh... And he, Huey actually went down. There's only three alive, one respawn. Uh, and yeah. again, this is this, there's a spy on the final point. Gonna take oh. out the engineer there. Uh, but this is it right now. You, this combo is just waiting around here. I know the spy is up, but your pyro can deal with them. And look at Tazen. The uh, yeah, he's just waiting there. I mean, I don't know. He's what gonna he's probably doing. get Reservoir Dark maybe here? I don't know. Oh, they're moving out. Oh, Tazen. Is he gonna go for last? Pyro left on point. He did spot that, so they are gonna. Uh, we are gonna see a Tazen bomb here pretty soon. Yeah, he goes out the door. Sees the medic. He's gonna come in yeah, on him right now. Medic hunt right now. Sees the medic. One rocket, two rocket, three rocket, and the medic's down. Tazen did exactly what he's supposed to do. Very well played by him. He took his time and he didn't really. Do oh! Money still here. Revolver's down Corb here. Spiral reaction. Yeah, that's two very nice picks there, and it, uh, they can push on this with the soft uh, soft push. Yeah, Huey already starting oh. to take. Oh, but Huey gets taken out by Marty there. It's sneaky little spot. We've seen some sneaky heavy play this game. This is surprising, considering the heavy is so slow and fat and Russian. Heavy, you know, I've you know I've been a big proponent. And I believe that flank heavy is so so deadly. Um, sneaky pull yeah. there. Uh, DRS does it really well, and it is so very, very effective. Yeah. I think it's definitely uh, something that is very underplayed, uh, especially in European leagues, because there's a lot, you can be a lot more uh, agile and have a lot more dexterity to your team if you, if you have your like, flute tranquil like a river, like they say in the song. Oh, but look at Tony Sill. Yeah, Mr. Rev. He survives with the Razorback. Tony Sill is still alive, but he has some fire after. So, yeah, he's on fire. Yep, he's gonna go down. Yep. Sandiri so, makes short work of him. Full Uber for both teams. Just response coming in for Stacked. And. Stacked can still just defend this. Oh! Marty here, taking out Ruby. That's a nice heavy pick there, actually. Taking out the sniper. Uber we got exchange. Uber's exchange. Oh. Yep, and it oh. uh, looks like. Corp actually went worst down there too easy. That's a bit of a mistake there. And yeah, oh, this is starting to look bad. It's very good for stack, but looking bad for Splendid right now. Damn. Oh, did just the sir, is that a reverse of fates? Is the medic being chased down right now by the soldier? Misses one rocket, misses a second. When is he going to get the third? No, he's going to go down to the uh, needles. Brutal, brutal. Yeah. Just getting on the point here. One up. Coming up. Oh, who's on the last point? That was the engineer death. So much capture time, and now stacked is finally forced their hand to be very passive right now because the back cap. Soldier on point. Oh, there you go. E end. So that is it. Stack takes it. And apparently, there were no last rounds. Yep. Darn. Well, okay. That's okay. Well, that was a hoot and a half. Took a while to get going, but it was definitely uh, worth it. I was hoping that Splendid Gaming would be able to put up a more fight after a very convincing round where they got a point, but then kind of just fell back to the... They kind of fell back to like the old habits of being very passive, I felt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that... I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but to my understanding that uh, stacked gaming is a little bit more of a, a, a combo that plays around their demo. I mean, yeah. Spacey was obviously doing work, but Huey, it seems, kind of leads that charge. And I think on a CP map, that's going to 
helped them out a lot. Whereas in I think in Steel, when they lost this one at gaming, uh, the team orientation of it was which much uh, different than just having your demo just do a lot of work. And uh, Splendid Gaming just came down to just their flank not being able to hold, like yeah. their flank not playing together, and then also not taking advantage I just of gotta, the advantages. I just got to give a shout out to Stacked's uh, flank, Sorex and Tazen, and also the engineer, Daff. Did a lot of work this round. Maybe not got it all on camera, but they collect, kept the flank tight and secured and uh, kept their medic free of a lot of hassle. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well played. Uh, stacked proceeds on further in the playoffs. So we'll hopefully get to cast some more of those games as we are approaching the final week by week. Any last words before we close off? I got nothing. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this uh, Twitch thing if you want uh, cool emoticons that only you can use, I think. Makes Makes it cool. We talk about EP later. That's definitely like one of the enhancers. I have to. You look. You like. You get all the women. I actually can verify this. That yeah. all the women rolling you will in get. Them, in fact, swimming. Like you have a pool full of women, and you you die. And you can. There's a special emoticon you can use for that. That's how great yeah. it is. You get them, and then you get the emoticon for that. Yeah. So you can let everybody know. Yeah. It's great. Great. <laughs> uh, is this weird? Okay. Star may not actually happen in real life. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>